conducting research for a project and happened upon a website about Margaret Sanger, the founders of Planned Parenthood, which praised her for her work in family planning and creating opportunities for women's health care. As a young woman who very much loved my family, I felt like she would be the perfect subject for my research project about an inspirational person in history. Praise God, I was raised in an amazing Catholic family with two parents who loved me dearly. Upon finding out that I intended to use Margaret Sanger as my subject, they quickly and urgently explained the truth to me about Sanger and her foundation, Planned Parenthood, which, while being praised by the world, was actually snuffing out the lives of innocent children by the hundreds across America each and every day. I was horrified and disgusted, and yes, I felt betrayed. The woman who the world had told me was a hero, who claimed to be paving the way in women's reproductive health services, was actually beneath the facade a eugenicist with an agenda and a bottom line and no care as to who would have to die or who would have to suffer in order to meet it. I was in high school the first time that I learned about Planned Parenthood's business model from Abby Johnson, a former Planned Parenthood manager in Texas. Abby explains that the higher up into Planned Parenthood she became, the more things became about one thing, money. She explained that her doctors were given abortion quotas, and every business endeavor done by the organization was, at the heart of it, a seeking to exceed a financial expectation. It was an ultrasound-guided abortion which finally broke through and pierced the deepest part of Abby's heart. She couldn't shake the image of a little baby boy struggling for his life and perishing right before her eyes as the abortionist pulled him violently from his mother's womb. And I was a junior in college when I became, when I began coming regularly to this sidewalk in front of this Planned Parenthood abortion facility to counsel and to pray. And it was then that I truly learned who Planned Parenthood is. Because I cannot tell you how many women I have seen coming out of this clinic wounded, tears streaming down their faces, sobs breaking their breasts as they drive past me and away out of this very gate. To this day, I am haunted by the eyes of these women, by their nearly tangible hurt that speaks volumes of what they've lost. I even encountered a woman walking out of Planned Parenthood who was in such pain that she could barely move. After talking to her, I learned that Planned Parenthood had implanted a contraceptive mechanism inside of her and had been unable to remove it. So they sent her home without scheduling the follow-up appointment or even giving her a promise of when they would call her back to make sure she received the help that she needed. I've had women come out of Planned Parenthood upset because the workers inside took away the options brochure that a sidewalk counselor yeah. had given them earlier. For an organization that claims to be so concerned about the women's choice, they are shockingly anti-option. And this is what Planned Parenthood will never show you. Women are being hurt here every single day. Women are being lied to and told that the immensely beautiful gift of motherhood is just a problem that can be fixed. And for this reason alone, I would say that Planned Parenthood is arguably one of the most anti-women, anti-feminist organizations in America. Today, all across the country, America will hear the cry of the women betrayed. Let us pray to God that this cry mobilizes our nation. And as women, it's time that we stand up for ourselves and let Planned Parenthood know that we deserve better. We deserve better than abortion. We deserve better to be than to be manipulated for financial profit. We deserve the truth. And though we have been wounded and we have been betrayed, the one thing that we will not be and will never be is silence. I thank God for each and every one of you here for coming out to support women and stand with us. God bless you.